Hi, welcome to this video on prime and composite numbers. Now, often when I work with students in secondary schools, they're able to tell me what a prime and a composite number are. They recite the rule that a prime number has one and itself as factors only, and that a composite number has more than one and itself as factors. But what does that mean? And if I ask them to show me what a prime number is, usually what I get is a list of numbers. They can't prove to me um, necessarily in physical materials what a prime number is. Now, why are primes significant? Well, they're, they're building blocks for multiplicative thinking. And there are other videos regarding prime numbers and why we like to break numbers down into their prime factors. But for the moment, let's have a look at what a prime number is and how we can physically show it. Because often students stumble over factors and we often think, oh, the reason they can't say whether it's prime or composite is because they don't know their times tables. Well, let's give them some foundation for it. First of all, one is neither prime nor composite. So let's get that off the table to start with. One is out there all on its own. But let's look at a number like eight. So how many have I got here? Perfect, picked up eight. The number eight we can represent as an array that is one by eight. But we can also represent it as a two by four array. So we could have drawn this if you don't want to use um, the counters, the kids could have drawn the dots. But we can't show eight as a three by array. It doesn't finish off. So for a three by array, we didn't get one. There was a missing gap in the rectangle or the array. So three is not a factor of eight. And therefore we can only get two arrays using eight counters and one, two, four and eight are all factors. Because there's more than one and itself, it's composite. Let's look at a prime number. To make life easy, let's look at the number seven. So here we have seven counters and we can do a one by seven array. We can do a one by array for every number. But can we do a two by array for seven? No, two, uh, seven's not even. And so for a two by array, we can't find um, or complete the seven. A three by, again, we can't complete. A four by, we can't compete. And we can go on to the five and so on. The only array that you can make with seven counters is the one by array. And that's why seven's prime. So another way of defining a prime number is that it has a one by, whatever the number is, array only. A 
composite, you can make more than a one by array. Let's test it out. There's five and we know we can't do a two by array, we can't do a three by array, we can't do a four by array with five. We can do a five by one. So by using these manipulatives, you're taking away a little bit of that restraint of knowing times tables. That said, I think that students should have a visual array when they are learning their times tables. So for all their two times tables, they should be seeing a two by array, etc. cetera. Um, but if we're asking them to prove if a number's prime or composite, and they're struggling with that, getting to them to think of it in terms of arrays can really help. I hope you found this video useful. Please hit subscribe at the end and head on over to learningyou.com.au for some of our free teacher videos um, and online workshops as well as resources. If you want the grid, it's up there as well to download and print. Thank you.